Welcome to another episode of Game Talks in the Kitchen. I'm here to bring you some easy, simple recipes for college students. Full ceviche, traditions with um, a couple of clothes. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Game Talks in the Kitchen. I'm Gina Monko, your host, bringing you easy and simple recipes to your kitchen. Today I'm making a couple of different Italian dishes starting off with a spaghetti with a lemon chili and creamy spinach sauce. The other dish I'm making is a bruschetta and finally a caprice. I hope you enjoy. Let's start with our Italian dishes of a creamy spinach lemon chili spaghetti. It's super good and healthy because I am using whole grain noodles. So over here at the stove I have my noodles already set. It is boiled and we're going to make it al dente which means it's going to be a little bit harder than what we're really used to as to soft pasta. So now to the ingredients that you will need. You will need a one and one half cup of yogurt, a tablespoon of flour, two lemons, yum, four garlic cloves, chili sauce, a teaspoon of this, and you're all set. And of course Parmesan at the end for seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the most tedious task, which is our garlic cloves. I love garlic. It's amazing. It's delicious. And you know what? You can never have too much garlic in my book. <laughs> I've already made that mistake with having too much garlic. One time I made a tomato basil soup and I put way too much garlic in there accidentally and it was bad. <laughs> so, and you know, if you want to make it a little easier and you don't like cutting up garlic and everything, I mean, why not go buy it at the store already minced up? Not a problem. So what I did is I just cracked it with our French knife. Mm, I love the smell of garlic. I'm just going to slightly mince it up. Do I feel like it's um, diced up and everything? Mm, and the good thing about garlic is, you know, it smells so good and I feel like it's going to be like onions because onions hit your face and make you cry, but garlic doesn't. <laughs> but it smells, it's so strong though, it's so strong. So if you look right now, it looks like they're pretty minced. Maybe just a tad bit more. I'm all set. Okay, great. So, next thing we need to do, this will go in our skillet along with other things. But now I'm going to go towards the yogurt part. I know you're probably thinking, ew, yogurt. Why is she using yogurt? Well, you know what? Yogurt is amazing in all sorts of dishes. And it makes the dish um, moist, flavorful, and uh, delicious. It really does make a difference. You won't be able to taste the yogurt taste to it. So I need one and one half cup of yogurt. So my only measurement right now is a half cup. So that's one half cup. I need... One more. Great. Awesome. So put this to the side right here. Take a look at our pasta. Actually, I'm going to look at our pasta real quick and I'm going to make it push it down just a little bit further. Looks good. Yes, it does. Okay. Turn the water down a little bit. Yum, pasta is so good. Okay, it is almost done. I can tell because I can tell by the way it feels in our, when I use the tongs, that it's kind of soft. So, it's almost done. Um, now I'm going to put in a tablespoon of flour, all-purpose flour. Pretty even, actually. I always like to even it out. Okay. And we are just going to whisk the flour and the yogurt together. That's it. Just the flour and the yogurt together. Until it's smooth. Okay. Great. So we're already halfway done with our recipe. Look how fast that was. Right now, I know that the pasta is pretty much done because it rose to the top and I can feel in the tongs that it's soft, 
probably already al dente already. So of course, as a taste texture and a chef has to check. Perfect. And pasta, you definitely be careful because you can definitely overdo it. So now I'm gonna go here and drain my pasta. Watch out, the steam's gonna be hot. Wonderful. I'm gonna turn on my skillet because we will um, go ahead and put the garlic in there and the chili and that's what we're going to make our sauce in our skillet. Look at all this pasta. Yum. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna make sure that everything's all set. Now, let's go ahead and go over to the skillet, turn it on a high heat, probably about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Great. Into our skillet. I love olive oil as well, it's delicious. Now, of course, spinach. Uh, you will probably need about 10 ounces of spinach um, with this recipe, or however much spinach you want. So about 10 ounces, about mm, two handfuls or so. And this actually heats up really fast, so we are all set to go. So, first I'm gonna put in our minced garlic to saute just a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Great, it's already sizzling, so the pan's almost ready. All right. So we pretty much need that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my lemons. I know I don't need this till later, but I just want the juices to already start to become at room temperature so it'll be easier to squeeze. And they smell delicious. Great, so I can hear the garlic mincing already. Oh, I can hear the garlic sizzling. Great, now all I need to do is to put in our yogurt and flour mixture. I don't need a whisk anymore. So I'm gonna just dump this in. Uh, with baking, instead of using butter, you can use yogurt um, and lots of different things too. I can't even think about it right now because there's so many different, but <laughs> definitely with butter. Um, if you need to have a, a moist cake, you can add yogurt to it or applesauce. Really won't make much of a difference and it's healthier as well, among the other things. Um, now while that's heating up, measure out my chili sauce. Mm, last time I used this was for um, kind of type of an Asian dish and it was really good with chicken and all these vegetables and soy sauce and chili sauce is delicious. So what I need is one table, or tea, one tablespoon, sorry, one tablespoon of this chili sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in. I don't need this anymore. Now the sauce will boil just a little bit. Just want to stir it around. Alright, I'm going to turn down the heat a little bit. Now I need to put in my spinach. Like I said, maybe two handfuls of it. The spinach squashed everything. And you want to make sure that the spinach is wilted at the end. So just stir this around until the spinach is wilted. And even though the spinach looks like a lot in the pan, I'm telling you, it will get smaller. Every time I wilt spinach, I feel like, oh, it's so much spinach, I'm wilting, and then it gets really tiny, and then I get really frustrated because I didn't put as much spinach as I should have. <laughs> Fabulous. That did not take long at all. Now for the best part is the lemons. Two lemons squeezed into the saucepan of our sauce. I'll turn down the heat a little bit. 
Yep, a seed got in there. How tricky. Okay, almost done with our sauce. One more squeeze to go for our lemons. And you know what? We are all finished. Okay, great. I don't mind getting messy in the kitchen. So if it's on my hands, that is okay with me. Okay, great. The sauce is pretty much done and it's now time to serve. Let's go ahead and grab a plate and a fork. I'm gonna go ahead and serve our al dente pasta right here. Onto our plate. Perfect. And serve the sauce. A little bit goes a long way. Now it's time to garnish with some Parmesan cheese. I love cheese, so I'm gonna put about one fourth cup of this amazing Parmesan. <laughs> and we are finished. Of course, we have to taste this. Let's see if this is amazing as it is. Smells delicious. I mean, the Italians have it made. They really do. This looks great. The flavors of it smell so good. You can't even, I can smell the cheesiness of it. The chili just has so much great flavor and the garlic and everything is just gonna make it such great sauce. Mmm. Whoa, that is so good. That lemon, super strong, super predominant. Can't hardly, if you don't even like spinach, but you need some vegetables, perfect. You have your spinach in there, some sort of vegetable, healthy grain. It's a great spaghetti dinner. Hope you enjoy.